Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living, and today is um, Friday, and usually there's school, but there's no school today, so I have a house full of kids. Uh, I'm not complaining, but it's harder to get things done. So today's just going to be one of those popping every once in a while kind of days to show you my progress and what I'm doing and say hi and when I need a little grown-up conversation. I just came downstairs <laughs> from getting my camera up there. So I'll just show you what's going on. Here's laundry I folded yesterday. And I still got laundry going. There's the itty bitty over there. Just I don't know how long she'll be here, but um, I'll fold it. But that milk crate is all my son's clothes he needs to bring upstairs, and this is all my son's clothes that he needs to bring upstairs. Yep. That's our tickle trunk. That old diaper box is all costume stuff the kids play with, and diaper bags. I just changed three bums, so you know. I'm just gonna show you. This is real life, guys. Real life. Uh, they have the curtain drawn in here. It's not too bad. It's just Misha's having a sandwich. Mr. Mays is having his brekkie. It's like 10.30 in the morning. He slept in. He was lazy bones today. And, uh, yeah, just not bad. I'm going to vacuum and straighten up. They have that shut because the sun comes in. Comes in so bright in the morning here. They can't see the telly. And out here, it's not too bad. Just... Regular kid stuff. My husband was looking at flyers yesterday. Mr. Mays was making me some lovely pictures. The iron and color and stuff. And playing music last night. So, yeah, my kitchen. Well, you know, it's my kitchen. It's a, this is where I'm going to be focused on today. I went into town this morning, guys, and I stopped at the grocery store, Atlantic Superstore. So I'm just going to show you what I quickly got. It's not a big haul. But my husband just got back from up the valley yesterday. And look what he got me. I asked for some potatoes. That's upside down. But Nova Scotian potatoes. A 50 pound bag. I think it was 9 bucks or something. Awesome. Who else is excited out there about <laughs> potatoes except me. <laughs> but I'll just show you what I got. Because he's away for the next two days. Again, I'm telling you, he's a busy guy. So for weekend meals. One, one day we're going to have, probably Sunday, we'll have a chicken and potatoes and veggies. That was $5.95. They seem good deals, I guess. $6.60. A jug of milk, because one of the babies still, he came drinking that kind of milk, and that's what I get. Um, these were 50% off. It's extra lean ground beef. I'm going to throw three of them in the freezer. I ended up getting five. They average around five or six bucks a pack. Oh, just a minute. The phone's jingling. Oh, that was my dad. We had a good yarn, but course as soon as the phone rings the kids start fighting for heaven's sakes anyways I'll just quickly show you bagels are 50% off I don't know these will be gobbled up I don't get bagels hardly ever I got two one like seed and grains and one just sesame seed I got some vegetable oil uh, no name kind just because um, I forget what I showed you I think I showed you the meat pasta uh, I think I have a can here, but I can't find it, like the Kirkland kind, and some cheese, because I think um, I'm going to make pizza today for supper, and I do have a video on how I make my pizza, so I'll put it in the description box down below, so I won't go over how I make it today, but I'll just show you what I'm doing a little bit, and I don't know if I showed you this, uh, some taco shells, not the seasoning, because I, yesterday I made chili for supper. And uh, I found one of those little, little taco seasoning packs. I was looking for my chili powder. I'm like, oh, I have taco seasoning. So, seeing this hamburger 50% off. Listen to them crying out there. I don't know if you can hear that. They're squabble, squabble. Um, I'll use one for pizza, one for tacos. And I'll put those in the deep freezer. Problem solved. So that's tonight's supper, tomorrow's supper. You know, to hamburger toppings, because I make five pizzas. And then Sunday probably we'll have some chicken and some potatoes. Anyways, i got to go check them before they knock each other's brains out.
charge up my battery, but I ended up sweeping the rest of the floor. I'm not going to mop today or anything like that. It's just, there's too many people in the house and my husband's away and I just, uh, no, I'm not doing it. I wiped the table off. I left this up because Misha, this is where they play and eat and do arts and crafts. So this table's all nicked and bumped and it looks old, but it's loved. So <laughs> that is... I can't get that stain out or whatever. It's something stuck to it. I'll get it eventually, but I don't want to scrape up the table too bad. It's been there for a long time. Anyway, she was just, this is where we keep the blocks and those little people. And the kids like to build little towns and stuff, so it's a perfect table for it. And I didn't film lunch. I just used those bagels I got at the grocery store with a bit of butter and honey and some chunked up cheese and apple. That's leftovers of Misha's, so... If she's hungry after, that's what she's getting because I'm not making another thing until supper time. So, if you don't like it, lump it. But yeah, I um, that's those, uh, <laughs> I need to sweep here. That's a bag of clothes for a donation. There's a diaper bag sitting on top of a diaper box. But those laundry baskets that my son needs to bring upstairs. I just put them out here in the hall right by the steps. So, I'm going to get his big butt to bring those upstairs now so I can sweep here. Um... Yeah, it's nothing fancy. It's not a deep clean, but I do this almost every single day. I vacuum. I have to vacuum every day. There's always little, and with little, little babies that like to put things in their mouth, I got to keep the floor straightened away. There's toys. There's often toys on the floor, but if there's little crumbs or pieces of paper, I got to pick them up. There's Mr. Mays with his chunks of cheese he has sitting on the Chesterfield. It's not where it goes, Mays. It goes in your belly or put it on the table, silly boy. But, yeah, he's watching some Paw Patrol. I'll just show you. It's a beautiful day. It's cooler today, thank goodness. The past couple of days, it's been, it's kind of mild and muggy. But look at all the leaves. That's our burn pile. It's just all cardboard boxes that got left out in the rain, so I didn't put them out for recycle because they're all soggy. So when they dry up, my husband will burn them. But look at all the pretty, pretty leaves. There's our cherry trees. Bone, dry of leaves. This one's almost done. No, Maze, I'm not picking you up. No, no way, Jose. But yes, this cool breeze is nice. It's nice. So, anyways, now I'm going to go straighten up the kitchen yet again. I won't bother showing you that because you guys see me wipe my kitchen often enough. I think you need a little break from that one. But then I need to, I think I'm going to fry up that hamburger. I'm going to do today's hamburger and tomorrow's hamburger for tacos. Why not? It's, you know, it'll just make my workload tomorrow a little less. Come on in the house, Bob. Close. I said so. The Halloween decorations are still, you know, still up. They'll be going away next week after Halloween. And like I said in my semi mukbang video. I'm feeling Christmassy, so where I usually put one. Now we got a piano this year, so things will, might be a little different. We usually have our big Christmas tree right here in these windows, like the Santa Claus Christmas tree. And I have a little kid's tree here that we fill with homemade decorations that we make over the, the season. And then where this rocker recliner is, that's where I put the one in the TV room. I don't know where the blankie is, babe. And then in the dining room, I put a nice one right here. So you guys will get a chance to see all that. This is where I keep all my special little books and whatnot. So, all right, I'll be back, Jack. <coughs> Oops. All right, guys, I'm just about to fry this hamburger up. You don't really, you've seen me cook lots of times. This is more of just a check-in kind of video. But my kitchen's almost cleaned up. I'm just going to do this countertop over here. I just boxed up a whole bunch of mason jars that were clean. And I've just been, you know, from meals and stuff that I've been using. And I just leave them on the counter. <laughs> so they're all boxed up in a diaper box. I'm going to bring them down the basement after. But just this. And then I'll be done my stinking kitchen for now. All right, that frying, or the frying pan on the stove has that hamburger in it. I'm just trying to map out the next couple of days. I'm going down to the basement now, guys. And if you watch my uh, chinwag video, 
I said that I got 50 pounds of cabbage from my uncle because we're going to split it and do sauerkraut together. I did sauerkraut last year and he did sauerkraut. So we thought this year, why not do it together? Um, I still have some sauerkraut left canned up. But yeah, I'm just trying to think. I'd like to have a station downstairs because last year I had it in my laundry room and I just don't have the space for it. So I was thinking if I could clear this table off down in our basement it's like a steady temperature right it's not hot it's not super cold I mean it's it's pretty cold in the winter but you know it takes a couple of months to ferment sauerkraut how you want it but uh, yeah so I think that's gonna be a project for me this weekend is to get that shredded up and started and I have crocs I have a couple of crocs and a couple of other jar of things but I seen somebody do it online um, let me turn you around here. I've seen somebody do it online with a five gallon bucket and I've never done it in a big plastic bucket before. I always use a crock or a glass container. But if it's a big, you know, 50 pounds of cabbage, it'd be convenient if it was just in one bucket. So I might try that. I just need to sanitize one of my old wine buckets and try it. But I just, I forgot to tell you, I got a second deep freezer the other day, about a week ago. I don't think I mentioned it, maybe I did. But it was 60 bucks. somebody was moving and they needed stuff out of their house as soon as possible. So, 60 bucks. It's not a big freezer, but it's like an apartment size freezer. Because we got a big one upstairs. Let me just show you. You see. And we have electricity downstairs. So, the boys brought it downstairs. And here, I'm using it for my freezer meals. There's some meat in here. And I don't... It's positioned that you can't see. This is a whole tower of freezer meals. I have... Four Whopper pies, two trays of cabbage rolls, two mac and cheeses from Thanksgiving, a tray of, oh, I'm just trying to lock this door, a tray of fried rice, and a tray, oh, those Salisbury steaks I made the other day. There were seven Salisbury steaks left. <laughs> and yeah, I could have left it in the fridge. Um... I could have left it in the fridge. Oh, i got to check that meat. And we used it up the next day. But I had hamburger to use up anyways in the fridge. That's why I made that chili. Um, and so I just put them, along with most of the gravy and all the mu mushrooms and onions, in a tray. Wrapped them up, labeled them. And they'll be good for a couple of months. So, yeah. I do love myself some freezer meals. It saves me so much time. And I'm trying, I have a goal of trying to get a bunch more freezer meals like lasagna and meatballs and I don't know what else um, for this coming December for the holiday season to make my life a little easier. So anyways, I'll bring you back when this is done and then I need to slice up that pepperoni my husband got from Costco, that itty bitty Costco haul, that package of pepperoni. The kids have been dipping into it, but I thought I'll cut up the rest today. And that's what I was thinking of pizza. <laughs> Same with the mushrooms. I'm going to saute some onions and mushrooms up. So, yeah, that's 10 to 1. I'll start making that dough around 2 o'clock. And, yeah, things are moving along. All right, the meat's all browned up. I took out what I'm going to use for pizzas. Like I say, my husband's away, and I think my teenager, he'll, he'll probably be here for supper, but I think he's going out this evening. And um, I, I only make five pizzas. So one will be all cheese. One will be pepperoni and cheese. Two will be the works with mushrooms. And the other one will be with the works without mushrooms. So it's not quite the works. But right now, I just, I strained it. It's because it was such a big thing of hamburger. And I have that big pot from yesterday when I made chili soaking. And that's, I need to wash that pot bowl too. I thought I would just strain it in this and throw it in the dishwasher. Um, it was extra lean ground beef, but I don't want to have any extra fat if I don't have to have fat. So, yeah, I have two packages of taco seasoning. That's what I'm going to put in it. And then I'm going to put a can of um, tomato soup since it's so much meat. I usually only use half a can, so I'm going to use the whole can. And voila, all I have to do tomorrow is uh, slice up some lettuce and chop up some onion. Dig out a home can jar of salsa because I'm going to be grating cheese today for that pizza but I'm going to just do tomorrow's cheese too. Why not, right? So, 
Yeah, and it's only 107. High five, huh? Not too shabby. Okay, guys, I'm gonna attempt something. It's not a hard project, but usually I don't bother doing this stuff. I get my husband or my son to do it, and I don't mean to sound sexist. It's just if I can get somebody else to do some work. Hey, why not, right? But I'm gonna try to make myself use my clipboard every day. I did that for a whole year. I do this, I go through peaks and valleys, right? And I find using a clipboard with my daily to-do list makes me do more stuff. And I can cross it off and it feels so good to cross it off. I always do it for events and holidays and things. But if I did it every day and I put it somewhere where I can always find it, you know, what a big difference. So, got my uh, drill. We have two drills. I have one and my husband has one. Because it certainly comes in handy. <laughs> I'm not a construction worker or anything like that. Ooh. But bear with me. Oh. This house is so old, you never know where you can drill in. Because sometimes it's harder than the Dickens. I don't want it in all the way but I don't want a little tack. I used to try to tack stuff and it just doesn't work. This house is so old, it had, used to have clay piping. We had to replace that. Don't tell me I did it too. Oh, for heaven's sakes. I'll take it out if I have to. Oh, there. So, there we have it. Every day, I'll know where my clipboard is because this was behind the toaster when I was cleaning that cupboard. I'll show you the before and after pictures. This was behind my toaster. <laughs> and I'm like, I need a better place to put my clipboard because I want to use it every day. There we have it. I've got clipboard, keys, emergency telephone numbers, more keys, and the school, um, you know, school year calendar for when there's holidays and then services and whatnot. All right, there we have it. I'm just listening to an audiobook called One Second Later or One Second After. I'll insert um, a picture of what it is or the link in the description but now I'm all done the pepperoni and I'm about to uh, saute up the mushrooms and I chop up this and saute it up with the mushrooms so yeah let's get moving on that All right, guys, <laughs> another turn of events, maybe turn of events. I just got a message from my daughter, and if you watched my video <laughs> yesterday, I have Mr. Mays right here beside me being a crank. I made labor cookies, and um, yeah, and that's the video that I put up yesterday. But I just got a message, because I slept with the phone right by beside my bed last night, I thinking, thought. oh my goodness, what if they work? What if they work? Um, and I didn't get a message, but I just got a message from her now saying, I'm not going to divulge everything because it might be TMI, but she's showing signs of early labor. So it might be the day. It might not be the day, but I am on high alert. I really hope it is the day. I can't wait to give her a hug and give him a hug and give the baby a hug for bringing somebody new into this family. It's so exciting. So I'll keep you guys updated. Exciting! Fingers crossed, guys. Eyes too. Just making up the pizza dough. Oh, it's all done kneading now. I just need to put it in a ball and leave it for about a half hour. Then we make the pizza. There she be, boy. This is my setup for pizza. Oh, I guess have you guys back. I already sprayed my pans. I have four pans. I usually make five pizzas, but that one on the end is like extra large. 
so I don't know if I can make five pizzas. So three large pizzas and one extra large pizza is how we do it today. So I'm just waiting that dough's almost done rising and then I'm just going to put them together. It's, what time is it? Oh, that's the timer. Let me see on the phone here. 3.30. These pizzas, you know, it'll take me about 20 minutes to throw these pizzas together, roll them out and do them up and dress them. 20 minutes to a half hour and uh, put them in the oven. They're about, it says between 15 and 20 minutes. I find with my oven, it's usually 16, 17 minutes. You know, that's how we do. But remember, the link's in the description box. I got three large pizzas, one extra large pizza, and a little bit on that big cookie sheet. So I could probably stretch that out to be one of these uh, like large pizza pans, but I don't have any more pans, so that's what I'm doing. Now it's time to get them dressed for the big show. Yeah. <laughs> I have crazy kids, you guys. All right, there we have it. Oh, there's a cheese pizza. A works pizza, a works pizza, works, and the kids wanted the extra large one to be pepperoni and cheese, so that's what they got. So they'll probably get two, I mean it's a big pizza, right, so they'll be thin slices. I cut them up nice and small. Two of those and one of the cheese slices. This is for the little kids. I know myself and Marquise, my teenager, will be enjoying this. I'll probably have some for breakfast tomorrow. What do you think of that, folks? So, I have my oven preheated at 450. Yeah, I'll stick those suckers in when it beeps, and yeah, supper's on its way. Now to clean up this mess. <laughs> fun, fun. <Yeah>. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I'll just Stop cut it, I'll even cut it. it out, I'll cut it out. <laughs> all right, that pepperoni pizza is all done. I'm about to take it out of the oven. My son just had a funny looking leftover odd piece of pizza. Because being a teenager on a day off, shite. Whew, that's hot. Well, there we have it. I'm going to put one of the works ones in, but I'm just going to look underneath. I think it should be done because it's nice and dark there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. I've got to let that sit. What I usually do is I let a pizza sit the whole time that I put another pizza in the oven when that one's done is when I cut up the one that I took out, if you guys are following me. <laughs> Might not be pretty because that pepperoni that you use, this is the one, this is before. But... It's just it's that pepperoni, right? It's like the hard pepperoni. It's not really the sandwich kind of pepperoni or pizza pepperoni. But it's good. It gets nice and spicy. Oh, yes. All right. The kids all have theirs. And this is my little slice of pizza. Well, two pieces of pizza. Yummy, yummy in my tummy. Well, guys, my kitchen's cleaned up. I'm just going to show you. I'm just about to put the, the girls to bed. This room isn't too bad. Those laundry baskets I need to go put in the laundry room. That's my fault. But this room... You've seen me clean this up this morning. Before lunchtime. It's, it, looks, it looks bad. But what it is, the kids have been drawing pictures all evening. So with little little kids like Mr. Mays here drawing pictures means paper everywhere so it's an easy cleanup so when I get these guys to bed I'm cleaning them up cleaning this up and hopefully I can you know bring it back to zero before I go to bed tonight you're gonna draw something I'm gonna color something guys he said they're just watching shark boy and lava girl good job Bob good job Okay guys, I think I'm going to sign off for today. It was just kind of a mixed up kind of video. I just felt like I wanted to have one of those kind of check-in videos with 
you know, a little cooking, a lot of cleaning, uh, some kids and, well, just regular life around my house. On a Friday, that's how I do my Friday when there's no school and a house full of kids. But they're all in bed now. My teenager just left. He's coming back later on tonight. And uh, my husband's still away. So I'm going to bed in a little while. But I'm going to enjoy a little time to myself. Because I don't get that very often. But I just poured myself a glass of red. And I'll probably just have one. And just kick back and relax. And I think I'm going to watch something. I'm, I still never finished that American Horror Story season. The hotel season. So I have a couple more episodes left of that. So I'll go see if I can scare the crap out of myself. Sounds like a plan to me. Anyways, have a good evening, guys, and peace, love, and happiness, of course. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I still never filled you in on my, my daughter. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I forget what I told you guys today or not. Anyways, I got that message from my daughter. There's still no baby. She said she's been having contractions off and on a little bit today, but nothing on the regular. But I can guarantee you'll be coming with me to the hospital. She doesn't really want to be filmed, but it's just going to be from my perspective because she was like, she, she didn't mind me vlogging, but I'm just going to need your moral support there and pretend uh, you're right there with me. And you'll be with me. Yeah. So anyways, I'm jabbering. Yeah, I just need this nice sniff of red. It's been a long day, but my house is clean. And that makes me happy. It really does make me happy. I put in the extra effort. My kitchen's nice and clean. My dining room, the playroom, TV room. It's just how I did it this morning. So it might not be perfect, but it's good enough for me for today. So, all right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.